What's going on everybody? My name's Chris, otherwise known as O'Kills. If you wanna learn how to make video edits that look like this and this, using only iMovie and another free program off the App Store, then keep watching. Shout out to DM Films for creating the original tutorial that inspired this video. I use a lot of the same techniques that he shows, but I've modified this so that it's easier to do on top of videos, especially when working with music. Two things you're gonna need to make these edits. Number one is iMovie. Number two is head onto the App Store and download a free app called Autodesk Sketchbook. Any Photoshop clone should work. I just use this program because it's free. Now, once you have both these programs downloaded, let's open up iMovie. So you can see here that I have the video on my timeline that I'd like to add drawings on top of. What I've done is found a point on the timeline and press M. This adds a marker. Once I've chosen this frame, I'll hit full screen, press Command Shift 3 to take a screenshot. Let's open up Sketchbook. With the screenshot imported, you'll want to press plus to create a new layer. Make sure you have your layer one selected. Grab a brush from over here. You can change the properties by selecting this icon. And with this layer selected, you can add any doodle that you want. Now let me show you the layers that I've created. Once you've drawn your layers, you'll want to click background and make it a solid green. Now, hide the original screenshot so that you get this. I've saved each one of these layers as individual images. Here's an example of what I created. Take these images and import them into iMovie. Here's the marker where I'd like to add frame one. Drag and drop that frame to exactly where you want it on the timeline. Right now, this frame is set to cutaway. So highlight the frame, select this icon, and change cutaway to green screen. Now you'll notice that this is not the way that we drew it in Sketchbook. Click Crop and hit Crop to Fill. Now the image should be lined up the same way that you drew it in Sketchbook. Let's add the rest of the frames. Now we need to do the same thing for all of these. Let's select green screen and crop to fill. Now my computer isn't very happy with me trying to render this at the same time as taking a screen recording. So I'm just gonna scroll my mouse over top to show you the example of what it would look like. There we go. So you can see we get the outline and it's animated in a way that it looks like it's moving away from me. So I'll show you another example that I did. And it's that easy. You can use the same technique to make titles, animations, whatever you want. If you get anything valuable out of this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button, and leaving a comment. I appreciate each and every one of you, so thank you again for watching, and until next time, love, peace, and good beats.